Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Nah, I'm IT Explosive One, and we are going to start the timer. Boom. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Did you confuse yourself on what we were doing? I, a little bit, you know. <laughs> it happens. All right, Jonas, look, we're going to, look, we, we like I said, this is our free form podcast, little mini series, so we're going to go ahead. And no, just... I'm not going to go on a date with you. Oh, damn. Well, <laughs> that, that's all we got for today. All right, time's up. Ten <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Turn this up. All right, so uh, I want to know if you would rather be in the ocean with a rowboat or in the desert with a skateboard. Boom, you gotta pick one right now. What is it? Forever? Like I'm not forever. You gotta get back home. I mean, if that's what you want to do. Uh I mean the ocean with a rowboat. Really? Not yeah. the desert with a skateboard. The skateboard gives you nothing in the desert. I mean, it's a weapon. From what? I don't know. The like, sand monsters that you're gonna fight? There's out of? rabbit camels, Jonas. There's Dude, rabbit like, camels. Like at least the well, here's the other thing. On on a rowboat in the ocean, yeah, you the ocean's terrifying. Yeah, but the desert either you're gonna die of heat or freeze. That's fair. There's no protection from anything in the ocean. You're gonna die of dehydration. Where are you gonna even get water? Yeah, but at least I got a shot. A shot? What kind of shot you got in the ocean? Use my manpower to get to shore. <laughs> my manpower. I didn't say you got oars, but you do. Oh, oars. okay. You fair. totally get oars. All okay. Right. Yeah. Oars. What about you? No, honestly, I'd probably take the ocean too. The ocean seems like the safer bet. Honestly, it yeah. Does. I mean, now like if the you ocean's say, terrifying. Now, but... if you say you have a boat, but it's on fire, <laughs> what? Why would I say? That? You have a skateboard. <laughs> you have a skateboard, but it has but sand on wheels ice, on it. it has sand, sand wheels. <laughs> I don't know. My thing is that the ocean just had definitely has like this inherent, like just terrifying nature to it even over for me at least over like a desert yeah well and here's the thing if i'm just in like a lake and i know that like nothing super dangerous is in it okay cool but if i'm in the middle of the ocean and i can't see any land as far as the eye can see there could be a billion sharks underneath me that's what i'm saying yeah, yeah that that's a lot more scary sharks killer whales walruses of jellyfish yeah dude in the desert there's not like a whole lot of predators there you got scorpions yeah, but, pff, big deal. Even if a scorpion, most scorpions, if they even hit you, it's not gonna do anything. I mean, but here's the thing: you can run away from a scorpion. Exactly. They're not that dangerous. I mean, if they sting you, yeah, that sucks. What else is in the desert that's like dangerous as far as animal, wildlife, I don't, fauna? Do lizards live in the desert? I'm thinking like, I mean, yeah, but they're not dangerous. They're not dangerous. Snakes, I guess, pro probably. The snakes live in the desert. They're cold blooded, man. If they're out in the desert, they probably die. No, the cold blooded means that they need the sun to heat them up. Yeah, but if the heat is 130 degrees, I mean, there's definitely rattlesnakes in the desert. I mean, that's where they that's where they hang out, right? I don't know, man. They I don't know enough more. about uh, desert uh, biomes to. All right. Well, I mean, I, I I would be afraid of snakes, scorpions, yeah, but it, like I can walk in the desert, the ocean. Like, what if you get a leak in your in your yeah, boat? or a storm comes, or a storm comes, or a giant wave capsizes your boat? These are things where it's like, okay, it turns a a, a shitty idea into something that's like life. I guess I get, I feel like. Those are random occurrences. They are. The chance are. of dying walking through the desert or rowing on a boat through the ocean. Walking through the desert seems like it has way higher chance of you just dying. So you're saying you'll dehydrate faster in the desert. Because that's that's your number one issue is or dehydration. Or heat exhaustion, dude. That's it. Sunburn. Your, your skin starts melting. Because it's like, <laughs> yo, dude, you can get legitimately burnt to the point like you're cooking in the sun. You can't just like bury, your, bury yourself in the sand. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, so like that, sunburn sucks, dude. Sunburn, I'm sorry, I've never experienced Well, it. yeah, dude. And like, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, especially like as a guy who keeps his hair short, like if I go out and sit in the pool all day, I usually put a hat on because like the top of my head will get sunburned. Can you explain sunburn to a person who has never been sunburned in their life? Um, okay, what's yes, it, I can. It, what's it like? Okay. Because I've, so, I've never experienced it. Imagine, Look like, you, you know the feeling of being out in the sun in your skin, in your sun, sorry, you being out in the sun the and your out. skin feeling hot. Sure. Okay. Well, 
imagine when you came back in the house, it still felt like your son, like your skin was that hot. Okay. But then you're in a cold environment. So your skin is hot to the touch, but you're cold because, because oh. you're, because your, your body is hot. Huh. And then, and then if you touch it, it hurts like a bee. It hurts to put a blanket on. It hurts to put a shirt on. It hurts to put anything on it. Can't you just put some calamine on it? Some no, you can put lotion? aloe-based lotion on it, aloe which lotion. helps. It does not. No, it's like it's it's just like you've burned your finger before, right? Yeah, sure. sure it's sure. like that, but imagine it's like your entire back or your entire head no. or your entire arm. No. Yeah, like that not being funny. able to get sunburned is a awesome thing. Like. Yeah. Yeah. You should appreciate the F out of that, dude. Yeah, I, don't, I don't like to talk myself up, but I was <laughs> but, born but black. Joe. <laughs> I was born this way, sorry. Yeah, you know. it, it really sucks, dude. Yeah. And it's like, well, because like when you're going to go do something during the day in the summertime, mm-hmm. you don't have to think about anything. I'm like, should I wear a shirt all day? Should I take my shirt off? If I'm going to go swimming, like, hmm, I should bring a shirt because if I'm going to be in the water for like three hours, I'm going to get my shoulders are going to burn like a bee. Because so, even in that, dude sunscreen it doesn't help when you're in the water you're not wrong so it's like yeah so even that day we went on the boat like i brought a like one of those water wicking shirts and after i was out for about an hour i was like okay shirts on rest of the day and that's how i had to do it because uh, if not i would have been as red as this shirt for three are, days would you, would you are you considered pale uh i'm pretty pale dude are i'm you, not are like you fair skinned no because when i would go play volleyball I got accustomed to it. I'm just not in the sun enough. I can like, um, I know my body like, and what I would, and what I did to kind of get used to that is like, I would go lay in the sun, like on my lunch break for like 20 minutes just okay. to like, and then I'll get, what's funny though is like, say tomorrow I'm like, I'm going to go out and lay in the sun. Mm-hmm. 10 minutes, my skin would be pink. Okay. And that's, what, that's from the sun of sun's effects. Right. right. And then, so then the, what I do is like, then I go out the next day for like 10 minutes and then it gets a little more pink, but then it like the way I work that first day, I'll be this red, but within like a day or two, I'll be tan. And then, and then once you're tan, th- then you don't get sunburned. As bad. Wait, hold on. Are you telling me? Okay. Cause I've always wanted to know what was like the point of tanning. And that was actually going to be part of my next questions. Like, so what does tanning do for you? So tanning prevents you from getting sunburned. I mean, you can still get sunburn if you're tan, but if your skin is already tan, uh-huh. you're less likely to get sunburned, which probably is why darker skin doesn't get sunburned. Oh yeah. I've never, I don't even know what that is, but I don't know what the reasoning, but I know that if your skin is used to it and it's already tan, the chances it takes more to get you burnt. It, it still does damage to your skin, Yeah, but you don't get the burn. The burn I think is going, it's like if you take a chicken breast and you go from raw to like a hot ass pan, it just turns black immediately and it's like burnt. Okay. But if you like, but if you like flip it back and forth and like what it slowly turns you, brown and you don't tan though. No, I no. do. I've never seen you tan. Yeah, when I would go play volleyball, I was tan. You just don't notice. I mean, not like incidentally tan, but like specifically go tanning. Oh, no. I would sometimes go and lay out the pool just to get my sun accustomed to being, my skin is accustomed to being in the sun because it's summertime and go to the pool and stuff. And I, I want to be able to go to the pool for more than <laughs> two minutes without being burnt. I never, I never knew there were so many like uh, nuances. Nuances <laughs> to being white. So. <laughs> so. It isn't all just let's talk to your manager, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I never said it was that either. That's your words, not mine. Know, um, so, so tanning does have other benefits other than people f- feeling like it just makes you look healthy. I don't know why people tan just to tan, though. Like people who go to like the tanning they bed, say it's a good look or something, dude. I, I prefer if I'm gonna go after if I'm dating a female. I prefer her you, to, to not be all tan. You don't like tan looking girls. Okay. I don't like fake tan. Like if it's like you can tell you went out to the pool and we're out there all day, like yeah, that's fine. I mean, fine. that's not a fake tan. That's about as real as right. Exa- that's what's, what's, fine. It's a real tan. But when you have it, like I've dated women and they're like, I should go tan just so I look. And I'm like, no, you're fine. I, I, you're, it's, you're pale. It is what it is. Like don't, why, why go tan? <sighs> I'm not mad at the tan, but I don't get it. Even yeah, I don't to get it day. either, dude. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's time episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe to our stuff. Jonas. TNT. We are out.